My attention has been drawn to the roadside statements made by His Excellency the Deputy President and his UEA Tanga Tanga Brigade on matters pertaining to the nomination and vetting of a candidate for the position of the Deputy Governor of Nairobi County. It's with much, it's with much regret that I take this opportunity to respond to the reckless statements made by senior legislators in this country, which was only meant to incite members of public against the county assembly and its constitutional mandate. The deputy president and his team ought to have known better than any one of us that the county assemblies are independent and do not take instructions from political rallies. Our work is clearly cut out in the constitution and we do not need advices from them on how and when to do our job. Most of, the, most of them who are addressing the county assembly in the streets of Nairobi belong to outside counties. They are Therefore, their, advice, their, advices, their advices are needed in their own countries back at home. We now want to request them as we approach BBI discussion in this country. We have, we have had enough of their incitement to the public against BBI, His Excellency, the President Kenyatta, Uhuru Kenyatta, and his brother, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Dinga. They should now spare us. We also saw them running away from their own statement of dividing Kenyans on the tribal lines and trying to pass the buck to other people on the narrative that they on the narrative that they started a year a year back. This country has a story of 42 tribes. is not new to us. If they are forgetting, we want to remind them. It is Honorable Kimani Ichungwa, Moses Kuria, and Kipchungwa Murkomen who began one, one year back inciting members of public that Kenya was not ready for another Kikuyu president. Then they thought they were campaigning for the deputy president, who is not a Kikuyu. When that did not sell, they changed the tune and branded their bus Tanga Tanga. When they, did not, when they went around the country and they did not harvest anything, they came up with an idea to give poor Kenyans wheelbarrows and brand them hustlers so that they look like they are fighting the dynasty, which they did not tell us who they are. We want to remind them that charity begins at home and remind the Kenyan youth that if wheelbarrows would bring change in our life, then they would have started distributing wheelbarrows from Sugoi and not Nairobi. The business of distributing wheelbarrows in Nairobi was not about the youth of Nairobi, but about the politicians who were benefiting from money which they were taking from the deputy president as transport to ferry youths from the slums to his residence in Karen and thereby sharing the same monies with them. Thank you. And we uh, are going on with the vetting as uh, is required of us. So anybody who is giving any statements outside there, we are not part of those statements. Just your take on the fact that the person who nominated the candidate you are vetting, mm -hmm. says he throws the name. I am not aware of any withdrawal because up to when he was impeached, we did not see any letter. Any, any, any communication from him after impeachment to us is immaterial. And so, so you mean the process will continue irrespective of the... Because there is already a, a court case, I think by Omtata. So, so will you guys proceed regardless of of the, the court case by, by Omtata? This assembly does not know anything about the case. You are telling me. <laughs> yes. Should that come to your knowledge in a formal way? There are procedures to be followed. Yes, madam. <laughs>